All right, folks, it's Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Uh, we're going to do a scan here. We're going to hook up. We have a check engine light on right there. It's a Ford F53 V10. It uh, doesn't matter if it's two valve or three valve right now. So what we're going to do is fire up the scanner. And a lot of scanners are the same. You just got to know where to look for the info. You can do two sides. There's always two sides to a gas or even a diesel. There's an OEM side. And there's an OBD2 side. So here we go. I'll flip this around for you. This is a snap-on scanner, but there you go. Now, it says memory codes. All right, so we'll back out of here a little bit. All right, so it is a 6.8 V10, three-valve. Here's your VIN number, all right, engine, Ford, it says F550, but engine. We're going to go to code menu. Notice there's a generic there too, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. That's the OBD2 side, code menu manufacturer side. So we'll go to memory codes. Key must be on with engine off or running. Okay, so hit OK. Well, I messed that up, didn't I? All right, so initially, okay, so what we got here is a P0132 heated oxygen sensor, bank one, sensor one. That's upstream. Bank one is on the passenger side. Bank two is on the driver's side. So, when did this code set is the key to it. So, we're going to back out of here. All right, we're going to back out and go generic functions. Let's see if there's anything. Now, freeze frame is when the code was set. Let's see what it was doing, Okay. And it might have two or three different codes in there for freeze frame, but the one we're interested in is the oxygen sensor. Well, there it is, P0132, bank one, sensor one. It's saying that the O2 circuit high voltage. Well, it was 1,090 RPM, see, right there. Okay. Throttle was at 15%. Now we go down here. Accelerator pedal was at about 18%. So we're on a little bit of a load. Let's see. Engine started 88 seconds into it. Closed loop fault. So it went into closed loop. It's telling me it warmed up. All right, so the outside temperature was 44 degrees. The intake coming in air was 51, I believe that is. And then the engine just started warming up. Look at that, 89 degrees. Airflow, don't worry about that right now, but it's good. Now I'm looking at short-term, long-term. We talk a lot about these. These things, if you get these readings for me at idle, cruise, and part load, I can do some miracles. Now look at that. They're pretty good. Short term, long term. So you take short term positive, long term negative. They pretty much get you around 0 0.7. That's pretty good. Now when these start getting around 10, 15, then the code will be set. Now if you see it, bank one sensor one voltage is 1.220. Well, let's look at bank two. Let's see if it's got it in there. Let me see. It was last, it was cleared. Somebody cleared this at 1,600 miles ago, and it came back on. All right, so there you go. A lot of good readings there. Okay, that's what set it. Let's see how many mile an hour going. Vehicle speed, zero. So it just started up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go look at the actual readings of the O2s. Okay, so we don't see nothing in here. We'll back out. 
We'll go to data. We'll go to fuel 102 sensors. Now, PID is parameter ID, PID, but don't worry about that right now. Now, we're going to go all the way down. We're going to look at the heated oxygen sensors. Oh, I lost it. O2 sensor 1 bank 1, 0 volts. And there it is. So both of them are the same right now with the engine cold. All right, so basically what I'll say is we kind of got a uh, bad O2. Once it gets hot, probably opens up. What you could do is you go down there, you pull on the harness while you got these two reading up. If you see it change, it's probably in the harness. All right, so I was just giving you a couple heads up on uh, how to read the OBD2 side. And yes, there's a mode 6 in there too, okay? So we're going to flip over to that, and we're going to see if that bank one sensor one is passed. Let me see. Ready? All right, so we back out. Okay. We're going to go to mode six, generic. Mode six. Onboard monitored system. That means they're monitoring it all the time. They're looking at it like, hey, wonder what this is doing. So there you go. The first one is bank one, sensor one. Let's see. Well, it hasn't, it wasn't ready. It didn't do a cycle or a threshold. It hasn't completed yet. Look at that. One, two, three. There's three of them. Now let's see. That's rich to lean. R to L. That ain't right to left. That's rich to lean. Alright. Now we'll go look at bank one sensor two. That's downstream one. Hasn't been able yet. See. So, mode six is very important. Okay. First, it tells you the O2 monitor is not ready. The cycle has not been enabled, and it is not completed. So. Those are very important. Just about every PID parameter ID under the OBD2 side on board diagnostics for gassers, which would be GM workhorse, excuse me, and a uh, Ford V10, um, Triton engine V10, can come under this. So you don't need a real fancy scanner, but if you got OBD2 side mode 6, and also, you can look at fuel trims, long-term, short-term, then you'll get by. You get with me, and you can write notes on here or get a hold of me on the YouTube channel, RV Diagnostics. Or you can email me at jeff at rvdiagnostics.com. That's plural. Or you can get one-on-one -on -one with me through um, Telediagnostic video link, like I'm looking at you do your work. And that's a website. I believe that right now it stands at $112 a year. It does sound like a lot of money, but not really for what you're getting. Um, it's like $9 a month, $9.06 or something. The other one is the ever-growing, uh, what's it, May, May the 5th or something like that, 2021. We're at 17,800 members. That's pretty good, a little bit over three years. Thank you very much for everybody that joined. Um, and then there's, of course, uh, the YouTube channel, RV Diagnostics. I think I said that. And then you can email me at jeff at rvdiagnostics.com. So, thank you very much. That's a short video for you. I'm out of here.